Number one, Tyra subscribes to an online gaming service that charges a monthly fee of $5 and 25 cents per hour for time spent playing premium games. Which of the following fun functions gives Tyra's cost in dollars for a month in which she spends X hours playing premium games? As the title of this episode suggests, one thing to be careful about on these kinds of word problems, particularly ones where you're dealing with money and prices of things, is not to get confused between a fixed cost and a variable cost. The monthly fee of $5 is a flat fee, right? It doesn't depend on how many hours that Tyra spends playing the games. She pays $5 either way. So when we're looking at the total cost for the month, we have to add, uh, start with $5 as the flat fee. Then you have the variable fee, which in this case is the 25% or 25 cents per hour. This is the one that's going to be multiplied by, in this case, X to determine how much she's paying on top of the flat fee. So here we're going to add 0.25 times X, and this would be the total price for the month, the $5 flat fee plus 25 cents for every hour that she spends playing, which is 0.25 times X. And we look at the choices that maps onto choice C. And the trap here, the thing you just want to be careful is not to confuse the two. So for example, if you look at B, B is multiplying the flat fee by the number of hours instead of multiplying the, vari the variable fee, the 25 cents per hour times the number of hours. So just be careful that you don't confuse those two and that you keep them separate. To learn more about Reason Prep's SAT, SAT subject test, and ACT video courses, go to reasonprep.com enroll, and you can find the link in the description below the video.